from toleratedcinematics.com and today I want to show you how to create this awesome shattering intro. Here is the preview. Alright, so that looks very cool. If you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, you can always buy the project files with the link in the description. And for those that do want to know how this is created, let's fire up After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and the first thing that I will do is go to Composition, New Composition. I will make it Full HD and rename it Main Comp. I will make it 10 seconds long and click OK. Right here I'm going to create a new, so right click new solid layer and just click OK. And then we're going to use this layer as a guide. But first we're going to layer, pre-compose this and move all the attributes to a new composition. And this is going to be a replacement. Okay. Right here we're going to um, be using our pen tool, so click on the pen tool and we're going to draw something like this. So just draw and just make um, kind of a scattering pattern and just play around with everything, try a few different settings and uh, just make sure that you don't overdo it, uh, like go uh, too small in detail because that might not really sell the effect. So like right here um, I think this is starting to look like something, so I'm going to click once here and one more here so uh, we're getting something like this and let's see if everything is uh, similarly equal okay there we go so I'm going to close this down and now we have this kind of mask I'll press M on the keyboard and we're going to see our mask right here click on that mask and hold control and press D on the keyboard to duplicate that mask right here we're going to click invert and now we're going to have a complete mask like so if we're going to open up on both of these masks, what we want to do here is just uh, expand it a little bit. So we're going to uh, enter 1, 5 and for the other one, well, negative 1, 5, there we go. And for this one, 1, 5. And there we go, so now we have some spacing in between. And we're going to use this as a reference. So what we want to do now is click on that layer, go to layer and click on auto trace. Just copy my settings right here so it's quite similar. Uh, tolerance of two pixels, threshold 50%, minimum area one pixel and one pixel before the auto trace. Everything seems about right, make a preview and you're going to see something like this. So it's going to define and give each uh, layer, well each part a new mask. So you can see it right here. Uh, looks pretty nice. We're going to click OK and let that do its job. Now we have a bunch of new masks right here. What I want to do now is just de delete our first two masks right here. So select both of these holding control and selecting them and just delete it. Now we have some masks right here. Uh, we want to actually go and set them to add. So click on the first one, go to the last one and change it to additive. Now we are going to see that again, right here we have these stripes in the center. We don't really want it right now, so we're going to click on all of them. Uh, so hold shift and select all of them and open one of them up with the arrow right here. And right here we're going to give it an expansion of 3 pixels just to make sure. And now we're going to have a clean uh, white background. I'm going to right click new and add in adjustment layer and just rename it adjustment. Then we're going to click on our replacement and right here I want to press P on the keyboard and actually I want to toggle the switches first and make it a 3D layer. So we also have a Z right here and then also the orientation. So just press P on the keyboard and hold shift and press R on the keyboard and that's going to reveal both of these uh, options. Then we're going to click on the adjustment layer and right here I'm going to add an effect expressions and uh, that's right here, expression controls, slider control, and we're going to duplicate it two times. So control D while it's selected. Now we have three slider controls right here. The first one is going to be position. The second one is going to be rotation. So just click on the name and hit return. And then the uh, last one is going to be our seed. So um, I'm going to explain later why we're going to use these. Um, but the first thing that we want to do is actually alt click 
on our position right here. And what we're going to type is value plus, and now we're going to open up the parentheses, open brackets, zero comma, zero comma, and right here we're going to write, and right here we're going to write wiggle, open parentheses, zero comma, and we're going to pick um, our adjustment position right here. So to do that, we're going to press E on the keyboard and just open up these arrows right here. So we can actually see the slider from right here. So go back to your expression, click right here, and just drag with this whip tool uh, to the slider right here. So just click on that, well, just select the text itself of slider, open the brackets again, hit two and close the brackets and then close it one more time. So what we have done now, essentially we have the value. So the value is just whatever we input in these values, plus zero for X, zero for Y. And for the Z, we have a wiggle expression, which means a kind of random expression, but it's not going to be animated from itself. It's only going to be affected by the adjustment value we put into the slider for the position. And then we enter in the two, so we give the value of Z, so that After Effects knows we're talking about this value right here. Once you have done that, go to the beginning of your expression, hit return on your keyboard, and we're actually going to try and drag this up a little bit or make it a little bit larger right here so we can actually like this and drag it down so uh, we're going to click in the beginning and just hit return on our keyboard so we can write something above it so right here I'm going to enter seed random and it's actually case sensitive so make sure that random is with a capital R then open parentheses and pick the value of the seed right here so now we're going to pick with this value right here, release it and then close the parentheses. Then move with your left arrow key one step back so you're in between these parentheses and we're going to write plus index. And then we can click away and that's all we have. I'm not going too much into detail about this expression, just copy it exactly as I type it right here. Then we're going to copy the first line, so control C. Now scroll down and hold Alt and click on the Y rotation right here. Paste the exact same expression for the seed random, then hit return and with our arrow here, we can actually make this a little bit bigger. Right here, the only thing we have to enter is wiggle, open parentheses, zero, comma, and pick with the whip tool, the rotation slider right here, and close the parentheses, so click once more, and close the parentheses right here, click away, and now we have our expression. So we can close down everything once we have done that. Click on the composition for the replacement. Go to file, run script. So right here, script, run script. And you have to run the script masks to layer. You can actually download it with the link in the description and go run the script file and search for it. Or if you want it to have it right, or if you want to have your script right here as I do, you can install it by just dragging that script file into your After Effects folder presets scripts and once it's in the scripts folder, you will see it right here after restarting After Effects. So I'm going to click here on masks to layer, let it do its job. And now we will have a bunch of layers just like this. And each individual layer actually represents a mask. So if we're going to toggle the mask on here, we can see that each layer has the form of one of the masks of the original layer right here. And currently it's unselected as the script does it automatically. It still keeps the original file, uh, but it's going to add new layers layers and each is going to have its part. So now if we double click on the replacement, we will open up that composition with our solid that we created in the beginning. And the reason why we have actually pre-composed this is so we can import something and place it in this composition and actually, yeah, just use whatever you want and it's going to work with the exact same effect. So I'm going to right click new, uh, well, import file and I'm going to import a car right here. So import a nice image and drag it into my composition. If I go back to my main comp, now if I go to the adjustment and go to effects controls, if we play with the position slider, for example, we can get some really cool stuff. So right now it's actually uh, assembling itself like this. I'm going to currently zero this out because that's not what I want to do. I want to play with the rotation. And the cool part about all these layers is that it's actually along one axis right here. So this is our anchor point, but each layer has their anchor point in the center. So you can do some really cool stuff with that. Go to your adjustment layer. And if you're going to play with the slider for your rotation, you get something like this, which is really cool. So uh, we can offset this like so. 
and click on the slider right here and move like three seconds and then zero this out. And yeah, let's uh, preview. Okay, so pretty cool. Uh, you can do a lot of other things. You can also play with the seed and that's actually why we made it. If you don't really like the setup, you can scrub through it and it's going to give you different kind of results right here of animation. So uh, this looks quite nice and we're going to create a new light, for example. So create a new spotlight, um, make it intensity of 100, cone angle, okay. And just click okay right here. And now we can also play with light, for example. So uh, that way you can make it a little bit more interesting. So maybe zoom in a little bit or zoom out like so and press A, a twice on the keyboard and increase the intensity a bit. And now we get something like this, which looks pretty cool, but of course a little bit too intense. 100. Um, but that way you get some shadows right here. Uh, we can cast the shadows and actually lower the shadows a little bit. You can also change the color for the light if you want to. So maybe you want like a blue light and that's going to give you a blue cost. And you can put this one, one right here, click on the light, duplicate it with Control D and put one right over here. And maybe you want to make uh, this light red. So rotate it slightly. And that way you can also get some really cool, interesting results. Uh, using your lights and of course you can uh, go to the intensity right here so that's pretty cool and of course last but not least we have to create a new camera right here and uh, we can click OK and we can click OK then press AA twice again on your camera and right here we can uh, also add some depth of field aperture of 150 and we're going to close this down. Press P on the keyboard and zoom in a little bit with your camera like this. Click on the stopwatch for the camera right here and at three seconds zero a dot. Well actually no, no, we'll have to zoom out again. And there we go. And let's do a preview. And if that doesn't look cool, I don't know what is. And of course, it's a little bit too harsh, so we can close down our lights. Go to your adjustment, press U on the keyboard, select your slider right here, and actually the same for our camera. Right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease, and then we can open up the graph editor. And if you click right here on the choose graph type, make sure you have the edit speed graph right here. And then you see the anchor points right here. We can drag these in, tuck them in a little bit, and that's going to gradually uh, slow it down. It's going to give you a smoother animation. But okay, we have the animation at, on point. What we can do now is go back into the replacement and just unselect everything, go to the text tool. And right here, I'm going to enter subscribe for more. So if you like this video, maybe you should subscribe. Just saying. Okay, so uh, Lado, I'm going to use a font Lado, make it black so we have it nice and thick, make it a little bit bigger and zero this part out. Go to the selection tool, go to align and just align it in the center. Now if we go to our main comp, boom, there we have it. We have our text like this. Isn't that really cool? I don't know. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you in the next one.